Then comes another important question. Why is ATP such a good energy currency molecule? Well, the reason is because ATP can be regenerated. I told you earlier, ATP to ADP and phosphate releases the energy so that the cells can do whatever it needs to do. Uh, movement of cilia, active transport, anabolic reactions, la di da di da But when the cells need more ATP, it can just join the ADP and phosphates together and ATP is thus regenerated. So that's a good thing. Okay, so it's an unlimited source of energy as long as respiration continues to happen, by the way. Okay, uh, second thing, ATP is also a molecule that can be easily hydrolyzed. ATP, you don't want, you don't want a molecule that is stingy with its energy, okay? You want a molecule that when the cells need energy, ATP can immediately provide it, okay? Um, so you can release the energy when the cells uh, immediately require it. But just because ATP can easily get hydrolyzed, ATP should not spontaneously hydrolyze. Imagine two ATP molecules chilling over here and one of the ATP just spontaneously hydrolyzes. You don't want that to happen because that's just wasted energy. So the cells will only hydrolyze ATP when necessary. It is a molecule that can easily get hydrolyzed, but it does not spontaneously hydrolyze. The reason is because for ATP to be hydrolyzed, it needs an enzyme to break it down. And the name of that enzyme is called ATPase. For example, let's look at an ATP, let's look at an ATP molecule here, and I'm also drawing a cell surface membrane with a protein pump. Now let's say that protein pump needs energy to carry out active transport. So the ATP wants to provide the energy, but for the ATP to provide energy, it has to attach to an enzyme called ATPase. You must know this. And the ATPase breaks down the ATP into ADP and phosphate, and the hydrolysis of ATP will release the energy. And that energy is used for the active transport. So that is another very important thing to also know. ATP cannot spontaneously hydrolyze, but can only be broken down using ATPase. So these are the important things. And of course, last but not least, it's also good to know that the hydrolysis of ATP releases large amounts of energy. I mean, you want a lot of energy for your cells because, you know, cellular reactions require lots of energy. So this is why ATP is a good energy currency molecule. So long story short, ATP can only be broken down in the presence of ATPase. It does not spontaneously break down. The hydrolysis of ATP releases a lot of energy, which is good, okay? And the most important thing is ADP and phosphate can be joined together to regenerate the ATP molecule. This is why ATP is such a good energy currency molecule.